Hey there, I'm the Water Image Makers and welcome back to another video. As you can see, we're not in the studio today. No, we're here in front of the boat show in Düsseldorf. Sebastian and myself will be um, looking around today here at the show and uh, searching for new exciting camera, underwater camera gear, talking to the exhibitors and see what they can tell us about the upcoming releases of new underwater camera gear that will hit the market very soon. So come with us and see what 2024 will bring in terms of new underwater camera gear. And we're here at the booth of Lefit. I'm here with Sherry, the marketing manager of Lefit. And as you guys might remember, I did review the S1 a little while ago when that came out. And now Lefit has some exciting news for us because they're releasing a new scooter, the P1, which is, um, which is meant to go on Kickstarter at the end of February. Now, Sherry, do you want to tell us a little bit about the P1 and what is different? about this scooter compared to your old S1. Oh, very exciting. Thank you very much, uh, um, Matthew. So, P1, this is a we, it's very exciting new product. We're launching very soon and will be in the market in summer. So for the P1, the key differentiation is number one, is it's much, much more smaller and compact, but will be double the power than the, the, the existing uh, product. Ooh. So, and secondly, is a fully modular design, which you could assemble the product within one or two minutes. So we were less than two minutes, you can assemble, easy go to the water, which is make every diver experience much easier and more enjoyable. Wow. Yeah. And uh, for these um, power wise, is uh, comparing uh, which if you code one unit will be similar with the zero unit of the S1 Pro. Wow. So well, we are very uh, excited to launching this new product uh, in the market and I hope uh, you know we, we hope we provide the best scooters for the divers. That's awesome, Sherry. I mean, I've, I've had the, the double unit of the S1. I know how powerful that is. Now, if you tell me that one of these is as powerful as two of the other ones, I am very excited. And I'm also very excited because as we speak here, a double unit of the P1 is actually being prepared at the office of uh, Lefit and is being shipped to me very soon. So I will be able to test this new scooter for you guys and you can be sure that there will be a complete detailed review about the new Lefit P1 coming on this channel here. Thank you very much, Sherry, for uh, sharing that information with us and good luck here for the rest of the boat show. Thank you very much, Matthew. And now we've made it to my friends, to the Dive Fork booth with uh, Louis from Dive Fork here with me. And he's going to tell us a little bit about the new product developments, the new product pieces from Dive Fork that are going to hit the market in 2024. Thank you for having me, Louis. And uh, what have you got for us? What is new at Dive Fork? So thank you so much uh, for visiting us, Matthias, and always. it's always good to see you here. Likewise. So uh, this year we have already launched the new color of the housing, like this is the glimmering white of the Cetus 4 Max. And also we have another, like the oceanic blue. Yeah. So 
the two new colors already launched this month. Awesome. And also the upcoming, we would have the SL120 with a brighter lumen under the water and also with dual batteries that we can use, it, uh, use as alternative. So it comes standard with dual batteries? Yes. That's very, very useful because now you can swip, swap them between the dives and you don't have to wait for the battery to be charging, right? Yes. Nice. And also, I also uh, we also say the user is our best idea provider mm -hmm. and some of our users just told us that when they were using the Doom on the surface, there is a problem like we are playing our drone with our remote control. We, we cannot see our screen very clearly. So we got the idea that why not make a sunshade? Clever. Yes, to have a better view on your screen. Nice. So, and also this sunshade, uh, it's foldable. Yeah. It's, it won't occupy you much space when you travel. And also it can use in a portrait position. Or oh, in vertical mode, yeah. Yes, vertical mode. So as long as you are using your phone to type or to just share something, using it vertically, you can still also using this very cool. sunshade. Yes. Very, very cool. Now, I've got one question for you. Yes. Um, when I announced, like a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. when we announced the new colored housings, yes. I had some comments of uh, our viewers asking me when the color pink would come. Any comment to that? Yes, uh, the pink color requested by a lot of divers, for oh, sure. Oh, really? Yeah. And we are sure this is a very popular color for many divers. And it would be very, very possibly we are going to, the color we are going to launch not far ago, not far. Okay, yep. very cool. Yep. And then about the light, we're saying that this is like the strongest light you have got now in your, uh, in your product portfolio. The two that you had before were 2,000 and 5,000 lumen. This one is 10,000, right? 12,000. 12,000 Maximum even. output. 12,000 lumen. So yep. uh, that's actually a, uh, wow, a really high lumen output. Yep. And I've already got one of those at home. Uh, I've tested it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can be curious about the review that's going to drop very soon about this new SL120 from Dyfog. I can give away this much. It is a really cool mm -hmm. light. I'm liking it a lot. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, yeah, thank you. Thank you for innovating, keep innovating and bringing all these cool products onto the market. Mm -hmm. um, do we want to talk about the mobile uh, signal transmitter? Yes, sure. Because this is also a new product that you're bringing out. It's not going to be in the next few months, but it is going to come out sometime soon. Yes. What can you tell us about it? So, it's also inspired by our users, as I always said. Um, a lot of divers ask us whether a smartphone can, like, receiving messages or doing live streaming under the water. Mm -hmm. So, when we discover that now the touchscreen activates all the functions of the phone, so we can go to any software, like we can go to Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, under the water, but the problem is there is no signal at all. If we go down to the water after like 30 meters, it's totally the signal gone. After 30 centimeters. 30 meters, centimeters, or 20, 10, it depends on yeah. the, the air, that, that where you are. Yeah. And then we just build up a like, transmitter that can receive the signal yeah. on the surface and bring the signal down by a very small cable. When your smartphone receive some of the data under the water that your smartphone, it's like, can do everything. Core, video core, or live streaming. Mm. Yes. That's very cool. And I actually had the, the huge honor of testing this for the very first time, like officially testing it here at the boat show. This morning, we were doing a live stream from the big dive tank here at the boat show. And if you've missed that, uh, I'll link it down in the video description below so you can go and check it out later and see what this new device is capable of. And, and I can't wait to have this on my trips and start live streaming from our trips. That is a really, really cool thing. Yes, yeah, so cool. Although it's a few hours ago, but I can still feel the excitement I have in my heart. Me too. So, yeah. 
Me too. Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much, Louis, for uh, you. your time and for explaining us your new innovations. Um, as always, guys, uh, one thing that we forgot to mention and that's new with Dive Folk is that they're putting a, um, a special focus on their kits. Yes. Uh, not the individual products, but if you want to get a complete kit from Dive Folk, they are dropping the prices by 8% compared to if you would buy the individual products. And then, of course, you still get the extra 6% if you use the coupon code Matthias Liebo, that's M-A-T-T-H-I-A-S-L-E-B-O, at checkout, that's a special discount that Die Folk is granting all my viewers. So you can end up with 14% total discount on the price of a kit, which is, yes. in my opinion, a really good deal. If you want to do that, hop over to the Die Folk shop and have a look at their really nicely set up kits. And maybe there's something for you that you want to get there. So again, Luis, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Matthias. And uh, let's go to the next one. And we're here next with Victor from AOI. AOI is a uh, actually very, um, very well known and traditional brand when it comes to producing underwater uh, camera equipment for other brands. But now they're trying to um, bring their own brand a little yep. further into the center, right, Victor? Mm, yeah. And uh, Victor, tell us, what have you got exciting for us that's coming to the market from AOI in 2024? Okay, so that is the, the new product we launched out this year, the GoPro housing. Wow, that looks big, nice. And GoPro housing is not only a GoPro housing, it with the display. Ooh, nice, look at that. That yeah. is very sharp, nice. In five and a half inch. Five and a half inch. So you got like a little, like a little monitor at the back yes. there, huh? Right? Yeah. Very nice. And we have the great handle, so adjust a different angle. Yeah. Yeah. You got your uh, the your ball attachment hand. point, yeah. ball mounts for yeah. lights and stuff. And most important thing is that it gives you the the running time for two and a half hours underwater. Two and a half hours. Yeah. So gone are the days. The whole day. Gone are the days where you would run out of battery on uh, your GoPro underwater, eh? Yes. Awesome. How do you manage that? Have you got a, a battery? Uh, yes. Battery Let me show something? you. Yeah, please. Yeah. So here's the GoPro. Oh, nice. And we just load in the GoPro like that to the media mob. Yeah. And behind is the secret. Is here we have a bit, we have a power bank. It's good for two and a half hours. So this power bank for the GoPro and also for the screen. So it powers the GoPro and the screen together. Yeah, yeah. This is really smart and so simple. Why did no one else think of that before? Yeah. So beside that, we also have some secret behind. Tell me. Yeah. Tell me more. Here is the, the display for the for the uh, vacuum uh -huh. vacuuming uh -huh. to detect uh, leaking. Yeah. And also we have a depth gauge here, so you can get you can set your depth, and then if you exceed your your depth, so that it will get you warning. All right. So you don't get distracted with filming too much. Yeah. At the same time, you can see the screen too. That's actually a very nice integration yeah. there, Victor. I like it. And beside that, actually, uh, the key is the lens. Oh, now it's getting really exciting. Now we get to all the good stuff. So that is the key, the lens. Yeah. And we have the wine go lens yeah. for, for, for GoPro. And it make it corner to corner sharp on the pictures. And that's what, that's what oftentimes is the problem with GoPro footage, yeah. right? That it's not really sharp to the corners. Yes. So now we, we use it as a correction lens yeah. to correct this kind of uh, uh, problem. Nice. And we also have the close-up lens. Yeah. And so that we can shoot image from 
70 to uh, from 30 to 40, uh, to 80. Nice. Yeah. So now suddenly you've transformed the GoPro to be able to actually take some close-up footage, yes. which previously wasn't really possible. Yes, and also you can get a very short uh, depth of view yeah. to pop out the main subject. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's very and nice. Yeah, so that is the, the key with the lens. Yeah. Yeah, it's, as we say, it's oftentimes in the optics are what makes the difference, right? Yeah. It's not really the camera, it's the optics that are in front that will yeah. really make and a great image. And at the same time, we also have a built-in filter. Are you kidding me? How easy is that? Yeah. And we have a storage here for the filter. <laughs> that is... Look at that. How cool is that? I'm loving this. Yeah. And it's still, it's still nice and compact and small. Yeah. It doesn't when make travel, it too big. When you travel, you can collapse the, the, the shape and put it nicely. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Well, Victor, thank you so much for okay. showing us this new exciting piece of uh, underwater camera gear. Yeah, thank you. And uh, we look forward to seeing more cool stuff of you guys in the future. Okay. Thank, thank you so you. much. And that's a wrap and sums up our day here today at the boat show in Düsseldorf 2024. Unfortunately, we couldn't really visit all the exhibitors that we planned on seeing and talking to simply because today turned out to be much too short and we just ran out of time because we had a lot of meetings with other um, of our friends and partners here and you can really be curious to hear about all the future projects that we've lined up during this day here today. So not much more to say from me than thank you for being with us today and uh, hit that like button, subscribe for more underwater video related content and we will see you back here on the channel in the next video. I'm going to the airport now and I'm looking forward to flying home. See you next Tuesday.